Hey, what's up everyone? This is Apple Vibes back with another video. In this video, I've got 15 awesome Siri shortcuts you can start using right from today which are seriously going to change your life. Some of which are available in the shortcuts gallery itself and uh, some are third party shortcuts. So you won't find it in the shortcuts app gallery, but don't worry, I have it covered for you. You can find all the links for all the shortcuts you see in this video in the description below. So if you don't know how to use shortcuts, I highly recommend you check out my video on uh, about how to use shortcuts first from the card popping just about right now. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive in, shall we? I have divided all 15 shortcuts into three categories for this video. The first one is daily use. The second one is time saving and the third one is productivity. And we have five, five widgets in all the categories. So let's start with daily use first. First up is Bluetooth mode. This will make one big annoying feature of iOS vanish from our lives for good. It is super simple yet super awesome. You know, right in iOS from a very long time, if you enable a Bluetooth, I'm enabling Bluetooth right now, then I'll go ahead and disable it, but it won't disable. It will just disconnect Bluetooth until tomorrow morning. But what if I wanted to disable it for good? I don't want it to get enabled tomorrow morning again. You can't do it, do it from here. You have to go to settings. You have to go to Bluetooth and then you have to disable the Bluetooth for there from there. But this cool shortcut let you do that from just one click. All you have to do is run the shortcut. After running the shortcut, you have to choose on or off. Here I'll choose off. And after choosing that option, we'll go back and check our Bluetooth status again. And there you go. Your Bluetooth has been disabled for good. Pretty sweet, right? And pretty handy too. Next in our list is Say Cheese. Everyone needs that instant shot sometimes. Well, Say Cheese does that for you. You can set it to have a preview or just you can have it run the shortcut without a preview. In this example, I let it run without the preview. Uh, let me show what I mean by preview. Uh, if you want an instant shot, all you have to do is run this shortcut, tap on say cheese. I'm tapping on say cheese here and it will give you a preview to take a photo. So I have a preview here. I, I'll take a photo here and instantly it will save the photo in your gallery you can uh, you can retake or you can choose use this photo i'll choose use this photo and voila directly the photo has been saved to your gallery so simple right the third one we have is home eta if you are stuck in traffic or you had to stop somewhere while reaching home from your work or somewhere else and you wanted someone to know from your home that i'm going to be late tonight or today uh, all you have to do is run this shortcut and it will conveniently send a message to a recipient you want, you have set already your ETA, your estimated arrival time at home, to home. It will send it to that recipient you set. But in order to set it up, first you'll have to configure the shortcut first. So you see the three dots on the home ETA uh, shortcut, right? On the top, you have to press on the three dots first. And then it will give you an option to set your address, line one, line two, I'll, uh, whatever address, your home address is set your address here. And uh, then the text message it will send is, I'll be home at ETA, it will send the time, exact time. If you want to change this message or if you want to add something in this message, you can do that. And then it will ask you a number to a recipient to whom you want to send a message. So here you have to press on this recipient and then you have to choose who you want to send this message. So I'll choose test here. I have a test number. I'll choose this test and done. After doing that, you have to choose the done option on the top and then you just have to run the shortcut. Just uh, press on home ETA. I'm pressing on home ETA and it will run the shortcut for you and it will come with this prompt to send a message. I'll be home at 12, 16. This is the estimated arrival time at home. Just send the message and you are good to go. Next is airdrop photos. This shortcut simply lets you share photos from airdrop directly from one click. Just uh, run the shortcut. 
after running a shortcut it will ask you to choose photos i'll choose this photos here i'll add it and then it will give this prompt i have my macbook available in airdrop here if you have your iphone if you want to share it with someone else just click on this prompt and it will be waiting on the other device just choose receive after choosing receive it will be sending on that device and send and you are good to go next is set alarm setting an alarm was never this easy all you have to do is just run the shortcut it will ask you a time for the alarm i'll set 5:15 here 5:15 and i'll say done and then it will show a message that your alarm for 5:15 has been set on sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday but what if you didn't want the alarm for for all the days so all you have to do is touch on the three dots on the shortcut set alarm you have you can see the three dots right click on that dot and then you have to click on show more after the show more it will there is an option called repeat i'll just choose this repeat and then you just have to tick the days you want the alarm to be set on and just choose done okay guys next up is our new set of shortcuts those are time saving shortcuts and first we have here is shazam to spotify so if you are listening to music or a or a song in a background like in a restaurant or somewhere and wondering which song is it well shazam to spotify very conveniently listens to the music playing in the background and identifies it for you in spotify so for an example i'll play a music here and then we'll run the shortcut so here we go it has identified the music playing in the background and successfully opened it in spotify pretty cool right next on our list is dictate to notes if you are driving or eating and your hands are busy and you still want to take quick notes well dictate to notes will let you dictate what you want to take notes of directly to the stock notes app on your iphone so let's try it i'll run the app first this is a test note and then you have it will save the note directly in your stock notes app on your iphone we'll check it out here are notes i'll go to the notes and here you can see dictation at 136 pm and it has saved this is a test note very convenient right next is make qr code with this shortcut you can share your contact details or your wifi details or anything really with a simple qr code it's very cool all you have to do is just run the shortcut running the shortcut it will ask you what you want to share add contact or add event or set up a wireless network i'll choose contact here and i'll choose it as test this is my test contact and there you have it you have the wifi qr code or you have the contact code whatever you have set it will give you a qr code for that you can share it with someone or you can directly show it to someone and someone can scan it and they'll have the contact details or the wifi details you wanted to share with them directly on their phone it is very convenient to have it on your phone next up is log my weight uh, many people are shifting to a healthy lifestyle in this pandemic and the most important aspect of that journey is to keep a daily check of your weight and sometimes it becomes annoying but not anymore because this shortcut does that job for you very conveniently all you have to do is run the shortcut i'll run the shortcut it will give me a prompt i'll put my weight here and you are done it will store the store your weight in my health app on your iphone device so you can check the average in that app whenever you want and it will give you the average of the of your weight monthly or weekly or whenever you want to check and you are good next up is open watch later This shortcut is my personal favorite and it does a pretty sweet job. Just run this shortcut and it will take you directly to the watch later page on your YouTube app. So if you want to watch a a video later on if you have saved on your YouTube app or if you are browsing on your laptop and you are saving it to open watch uh, to watch later directly you can run the shortcut very conveniently from here and directly it will take you to the watch later page on youtube and there you have it moving on to our next pair of shortcuts and those are productivity shortcuts 
so we'll go in the shortcuts first and the first we have here is keep me on task studying or working on something with utmost focus has never been so easy all you have to do is run the shortcut after running the shortcut it will, it will ask you what you are working on i'll say i'm working on my youtube right now i'll say done and then it will ask me how much time i require for this work i'll say i need 120 minutes and done and very conveniently what it does is it will set a timer for 120 minutes and in those 120 minutes it will also enable do not disturb mode so you can focus on your work and you can finish your work in the time you have chosen for yourself pretty next on our list is date calculator if you have a task or a work to complete and you want to know how many working days you have to complete the task or the work given to you well then this shortcut is perfect for you all you have to do is run the shortcut after running the shortcut, choose an option. I'll choose working days calculator here. My starting date is 15th of October. So I'll choose it as 15th of October. The end date, I have the last date as 30 of December. So I'll choose 30 of December. And very conveniently, it will give me the working days I have between those dates. And these are 55 working days. Just Saturday and Sundays are not in this list as those are my holiday days. Next on our list is time machine. I want to post a pic on social media from last year well time machine will get your pic from last year of the same exact date as today for you all you have to do is run the shortcut i don't have any pic from last year currently on my phone so it won't show the image the quick look action wasn't passed any items to preview because i don't have any image from last year currently but if you run this shortcut it will give it will show you an image from last year exactly of the same date so this will be very useful if you want to post a picture on instagram or any social media from last year so you don't have to go to the photos and find the photo and you can run the shortcut directly next up is reverse image search so searching on google with text is easy right you can type a text on google search and you can search whatever you want but how to search with an image on google like i have an image i want to search that image on google well reverse search does that for us very conveniently i'll show you how to do that all you have to do is copy a photo i'll choose this photo i'll copy this photo so the photo is now copied on the clipboard and then i'll run this shortcut so it will search for that image on google and it will show me the results on google so you can see it has searched for that image the result is not what i wanted but you get the gist right it has searched for that image on google.com here we go next up on our list is share clipboard well anything that is copied on the clipboard you can directly share from the shortcut what i mean is i'll give you an example i'll copy this photo here we'll go ahead and copy this photo then i'll go to the shortcut app again and then i'll run this shortcut after running the shortcut it will give me this prompt i'll go ahead and save the photo i'll share the photo to notes app so i'll go ahead and save it we'll check it in our notes app and here we have it so anything it's whether it's a text or a url or an image you can directly copy it on the clipboard and run the shortcut and share it to whoever or whatever app you want to share it to it's very convenient and it will save a ton of time in your daily work this is all for this video guys if you have learned something new from this video give it a thumbs and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel consider subscribing also let me know in the comments which are the best shortcuts you use and also what would you like me to make my next video on thanks for watching this video i am fadil taj you are watching apple vibes take care and i will see you in the next video